Hey everybody, and welcome back to Miss Clicks D and D Seaborn. Welcome. 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 So, you guys are gonna have to. You're gonna raid this coastline, right? Do you want to do any preparations before you go, or are you just sailing across and hacking people to bits? What? Here's the plan. Wait, are we disembarking the things we have from the boat? Because I thought we had a ton of resources. Or should we keep Yes, them? the boat the ship can be unloaded. Also, I had sixteen health at the end of our last show. It's been a few days without combat, so I should have healed. 18. Uh but seventeen, will... eighteen, nineteen. You'd be at nineteen now. So, uh, Algrind, I may need some help making sure that I uh, have the fortitude I would need for a battle such as this. We have had a day of travel, so... I mean, I, I know you, you may not want to redo that, but Algrind cast spells on Maribel yesterday? Yeah. Mm, no. Could have done, but didn't do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, shut up. All right. So, what what is the plan? You guys don't seem as bloodthirsty and hyped to murder these people yet. Well, we need a lot of rope since uh, we want to get them alive. I have rope. I have. I can't really hear you, Jess. Are you? Did something happen to your mic? Is it like pushed up or something? Now no. I can't hear you at all. I have 50 feet of hemp rope. <laughs> can you hear me now? Very quietly. Yeah. Very quiet. Okay. Um, Nothing happened, so I'm not sure why. What's happening? Sorry. Hmm. All right. Just speak loud. All right. I'll try to like lean in. Turn the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cozy. Is it? Better now? Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. Nice and loud. Oh, I didn't even do anything. It just kind of... Okay. That happened last time, too. There's something magical and mysterious about your mic. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, I have rope. I have 100 feet of silk rope. Okay. What What are your war preparations? Maribel, what do you do to prepare for a battle you know is about to show up? Do you have any, like, pre-battle rituals? Any war paint you put on? Well, as I was kind of saying, I'm... I'm like not even at two thirds health. So before we go, we might want to spend a few days preparing. Mm. We don't I, have that time. Uh, the time it takes to get from their place to the island uh, is yeah, only right. like half a day. You're right. Well, then we'll just have to risk it, I suppose. Um, I don't have any preparations. I just sleep a lot. Does anyone else have any preparations to get ready for the oncoming battle? I take a nap. The um, information that Mayor Donalda gave, that's a day old, was it? Uh, they, it's, yes, they were spotted heading west a day ago. Was there more specifics like um, towards an island or past that island? Northwest. They lost sight of them before you They you could see New, Z New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, okay. I mean, that trip isn't a long time. No, from... It's like 25 miles. You can do that in two-thirds of a day on a ship. Okay. But there would have been a report that they were heading back. Possibly. Probably. It sounds like uh, the mayor would either have come down herself or sent another runner back to town if they had been spotted coming this way at all. Great. That means we're in the clear. Uh, so yeah, all we need is a lot of rope to tie up delicious snacks for our dragon. How much rope? Like, do we need more than what we have? I have 100 feet, like I said. I'm also I carrying... I, have I don't really know the amount of rope required to tie up one person. I'm going off of... Like, two feet? No, because you got to go all the way around a person, and a person's uh... circumference is actually a couple of feet. Um... I, I have 50 feet of your rope, Bongo, that I've been oh, carrying right. for you. And then I have 50 feet of my own. We I have, have my rope. 50 feet, so we have 150 plus another 100, so 250. That's quite a lot of rope. 
I think That's we could do it. And what we can do is just uh, do non-lethal just... damage to them, and then they'll be alive. <laughs> could just knock them out until they're, they're exactly. Ready. If need, you have any? Uh, or actually, I'm napping, aren't I? I wake up for just a second and I say, "Do we have any uh, herbs or plants that might make them more pacified, or you know, knock them unconscious, or anything like that?" No. Anyone have a proficiency in knowing about that kind of thing? No idea. Oh, wait. I have herbalism. Yeah. So, uh, have you seen any plants on the island that might help us? Like, could we make some sort of smoke that might be, you know, make them confused or anything like that? Would I, can I like roll a check to see if I yes. have seen any of that? My, me, it says my check is 11. So. Give me a Nervalism check, a d20 plus 11. No, I don't believe I have seen any of those herbs. No. Darn. So do we unload before we leave? Yes. Yeah, of course. So we give the. I guess the mayor ship and the control of those resources to how, the mayor of New Zealand. How New many guys do we think we can bring on this ship? Well, you've got 27 rowers plus the four of you. Are you bringing Scarlet? No, I mean, uh, how uh, many no, so guys, which we're going to bring unconscious as food, can we bring uh, that? Um, if you don't care if they're sitting comfortably or not, you can probably stack like 10 people. Um, if you get rid of a few of your rowers, you could make a lot more room. It's a short trip. We don't need all these rowers. Yeah, we could leave the rowers in town. Can we like chain them up somewhere so they don't escape? Yeah. Yeah, you could cut down your number of rowers to uh, 18. And make it there and back still with plenty of time. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, it is so. You guys dismount, take off some of your rowers, free up a little bit of room, just take out all your supplies, and make for the coast. I feel really well rested since I napped most of that time. Yeah. All right. You guys approach the red coast i do a quick survey of my companions and make sure they're in full health i'm uh, not how many um do we recover hp only when we rest yes every night that you did not do anything stressful to your body that you recover one hp so since the okay. last episode uh since you leveled up you would have gained three hp okay thank you um as you approach the red coast, you see a village. You lean your ship in that direction. And as you get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer, you begin to see fishing boats kind of dotting out a little bit away from the coast. But that's it, just fishing boats. And as your ship gets even closer, now you're maybe you know, 600 feet away. Those fishing boats are all heading in towards land and you see people on shore looking and then kind of hurrying around in panic and heading towards the center of the village. Ha ha, run you fools! I bet all of their army left to go attack us or mm. another city. Let's use this moment to capture them. Ha ha ha. Just like they did to us. Your ship gets a little bit closer and two men with long bows come out and start taking shots at you guys from a distance. Attack them! All right, they are going to get two rounds of shots on the ship before you guys reach them. Well, we, I mean, wait, I can also have... fire, too. Yeah. All right, well, then let's roll initiative. Yeah. Because I have uh, spears I can throw, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, your spears are going to be out of range until the same round that you land the ship because they have to be thrown. Okay. Um, but someone roll, uh, actually, roll individual initiative. You're making shots with bows. I have no bows. Jen, what are you using that's missile? Bows. I have a short bow that I'll use. I have a short bow as well. Okay, roll me initiatives, please. Is 
It's D10 plus your weapon speed. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Seven. Uh, oops. All right, thirteen and fourteen. They their guy goes first. Their first guy goes first. He takes a shot at the ship, and it, the arrow goes wide and plops in the water. Bruno. Um, at this point, you're at long range, so minus five to hit. Okay, I'll, I'll keep my bow aimed at them, and I'll just shout, uh, "We, we aren't here for any trouble unless you're the ones who raided us." And I pass. Okay, Albert. Uh, wait, did they fire or not? One guy did. Yeah. Oh, I'm firing at that guy. Okay, minus five to hit for long range. miss. Their second archer takes a shot and misses as well. Uh, then their first archer gets his second shot. You guys are all a little bit closer. Now you're at medium range. His arrow lands on... It lands on you, Jen. You take four points of damage as an arrow hits you in your thigh. Well, guess one of us is out of combat for a little while. Why? What is HP are you at now? I mean, I have seven totals. 7.5. Oh, uh, okay. Times. Bruno, your turn. I take you cover behind shot. something. Till we get in Okay, range. I'll uh, take a shot. How much penalty is medium range? Minus two. Minus two. Let's see. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then plus whatever bonuses you normally get. Uh, yeah, that's plus two, minus two, so zero. Okay. Wild miss. Um, Dark Albert, your second shot. The darkest of Alberts. Nice! Critical hit. You are muted, though. I didn't say anything. I just typed it. Ah, fantastic. Uh, please roll me double damage. Bam! You hit the guy square in the chest. He slink, slumps back into the ground, and the other archer goes for cover instead of taking his last action. Yeah, I'm going to take cover after my shot, by the way. Okay. At some point, can I do a Cure Light Wounds on Jen? Yes, you can do it right now. <coughs> All right, I will do that. So is that a D8 to see how much I yes. restore? All right. Woo! Boom, max I, HP. I know, you are I know full. you're at max HP. Good Albert's one. back in combat. Yeah. All right. Uh, all the people have taken cover and are no longer visible until your boat pulls right up along the ground with it as the hull scrapes on the stones and the sand. I let a big war velo go when that happens. That sounds like, and then I jump out of the boat and into the fray. Okay. Um... Rest of the party, what are your actions? So when you say people have taken cover, like are they ducking behind something? Did they go into buildings? They're all behind, between, they're behind buildings from where you're looking at. Um, there's a small cluster of, looks to be mostly houses that kind of form the local village. Everything else is all on the sides. And all the people are in this little village area, probably in whatever town squares on the other side of these buildings from you. Okay, well, let's just take care of that archer, and then let's ask. Uh, the archer has retreated behind the wall, behind behind this area as well. So it's just, you guys are out in the open, and there's no one oh. else around. All the villagers are back. Got it. Is there oh, a... Forward. Wait, is there like a campfire or something in the middle of the city? You can't see. There's oh, okay. buildings in between you and them. And All there's right. not a lot. By the, get, by the count of buildings here... You would guess this village has no more than a hundred people, uh, probably quite a bit less. Okay. Um, is there some kind of traditional thing that we're doing to make sure that our our boat does not leave us? Do we need to leave someone behind still? You maybe. Um, you have a an anchor that you could try to attach to something. Hmm. 
but there is always the possibility if you don't if no no one's watching the boat there's the possibility that the slaves might try and take off um I can stay back if you guys want me to. I could still fire arrows from the boat. Uh, we can have the apprentice keep watch. Saffron? Yeah, yeah. Saffron. Would you do that for us? She says she will. Uh, so as you guys are discussing this, Maribel is the only person who's actually gotten off the boat while this discussion about what to do with the ship is going All on. Right. And there's and a loud... As a group of people come barreling around one of the corners... You notice that there's two men running at you. One of them's missing his right arm. The other's missing his left arm. But they each have in their free arm an axe. And st coming from behind these guys is the one archer that's left. And they come around the corner with some ferocity. Uh, you guys are not surprised by this, but let's roll initiative. Everyone, a I d10. their ferocity with my glare. D10 plus your weapon speed. <laughs> I think it's six, but I'm going to double check. Yeah. Battle axe, so... Yes. Oof, I'm last. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh... You know what they say about saving the best. Maribel, you somehow managed to go first. Yes. Uh, what is the nearest guy to me? He is a one-armed man with an axe in his left arm and his left hand. Uh, I go to use my halberd to just chop him, like in half, arm off, head off, whatever, whatever I can chop. I'm totes chopping. Give me a chop attack. Um, I believe I'm 20 plus 5 with my base melee adjust plus my God. plus 3 to hit on Halberd. So I hope that's right. Uh, maybe? Yeah, that's a hit. Give me a and damage then roll. I get a plus 2 to damage on a d10. What level are you, Maribel, out of curiosity? I am 3. Okay, we'll figure that out momentarily. Uh, you whap into him, cutting deeply, but the one-armed man still goes. He That's and his a lot of damage. he and his other one-armed buddy come at you with their axes. Oh my god! Uh, does a seventeen hit you, Maribel? Yes. The axe sinks into you for five points of damage, Ugh. opening your abdomen. Uh, the other axe misses wildly, and the Very archer well. takes a shot. He takes a shot right at Bruno, who is standing on the ship with his bow drawn. Does a 17 hit you, Bruno? Yes, it does. You take four points of damage. Um, and then Dark Albert goes. The darkest of Alberts. I'm going to take a shot. Hit! What are you shooting? The archer, archer. Okay. Give me a damage roll. Mm -hmm. right. Give me a damage, damage. roll. Yeah. Boom! Four. You knock the archer to the ground. Shaft buried in his chest. Bruno and Jess. Uh, Bruno and, and Algrind at the same time. Is there, um, can I get into melee range in time for those that are fighting against Maribel? Yes. Okay, I pull out my dagger and I'm going to fight alongside Maribel and attack the same person she stabbed. Do it. Let's see. Oh, well, you look at that. Well, look at that. <laughs> Roll me 3d4 damage as you eviscerate the cripple. Mm -hmm. uh, his guts fall out of the bottom of his belly and spill to the ground, and he dies with a gurgle in his breath. That's what happens when you mess with us, and I give Bruno a high five. Algrund. Um, let's make, let's kill this other cripple, then we'll high five. I, yeah, who am I? Am I in range of any? 
you can hop off the ship okay. and step forward and be in range of one of these axemen. Okay, I will attack one of the axemen then with my battle axe. Hit! Yay, okay. Um, it says, sorry, it says D8, D8. Do I roll two D8s or is Just that... Just a single D8. Okay. Yes. Cool. Oh, not great. You hit him, you hurt him, but he stays standing. And Dark Albert, you get a second attack. If you want to shoot this guy, I don't recommend it. You're likely to hit an ally. You're... I won't. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've got a 4 out of 5 chance of hitting an ally if you try and shoot this guy, so... Probably a bad idea. Give me initiative rolls, everybody. Why did you attack us? I shouted them. We're our children! Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Ooh, Bruno, you go first. You go before he even gets a chance to respond. I'll, uh... I'll kind of, like, hold my dagger menacingly. I'll go right after him okay. if he does any. Sure, you prepare an action to hit him if he does anything. He yells back to you, uh, Islanders are soft. You're bred for cattle. You're bred as cattle. Your people are for the taking. Might he makes right, he says, as he goes to make an attack at you, Bruno, but you have a ready attack, so you can make yours first. Okay, I'll uh, do this damage non-lethally. Ooh, ooh, hit. Roll me a damage roll, d4. One, got him. He Ow. remains standing, dagger in his gut. And brings his axe to bear against you. What is your... Okay, 19 hits. What is your armor class? It's 10. He crits you. Ow. Uh, you need to make a saving throw versus death. You want to roll higher than your, than your saving throw versus death, which is on your left side of your character sheet next to your HP. Uh, Equal to or higher on a D20. Death. That 2 is not going to cut, cut it. You take <laughs> yeah. 12 points of damage from the crit... As the oh. axe sinks deeply into, I think that's your abdomen. Five is abdomen. Axe is size medium. So 2d4 severity. Oh my God, eight severity. Abdomen injured, severe bleeding, one half move, minus penalty, forward attack. So basically, he slashes you across your abdomen. You collapse to the ground, and you notice that your entrails are starting to drip outside of you. What? If you do wow. not get some magical healing in the next round, you are going to take 10 to 60% of your HP as damage Ooh. next the round. good news is I am unconscious, so that's value. Wow. <laughs> oh All right. Hmm. Um, so yeah, you're basically... you collapse onto the floor with gonna... my gut stripping up. Yes. The cripple laughs menacingly at Bruno's demise. And who's next? Um, Maribel, you're next. So I definitely want to stand over Bruno to defend him. Can I do that at the same time as attacking, or do I need to have a different mechanic? Uh, no, you can stand over him. That's fine. Okay, so I'm like defending him, mm -hmm. and I I go for that guy. The guy He's the hurt. only one left. Get him. And I I want to get him. I want to get him good. Hit. Oops. You slash him open, and he crumples to the ground in a pool of blood next to his former ally. I stand over him with, like, red, angry eyes and, like, snorting out of my cow nostrils. Okay. 
Um, uh, that's it for combat, but Jess, Bruno is bleeding to death at the yes. ground. I would love to use a Q. Oh, uh, wait. So what is it? How does it work if he's, like, bleeding? I can't. I can only bring him from bleeding to conscious and then I, I, instead of like being able to heal him at the same time. You're going to need a Cure Light Wound spell. will reduce it to major bleeding, which is better. That's like 1 HP around rather than 10 to 60% of your HP per round. Okay. Um, and then you can bind his wounds with an intelligence check. Uh, unless you have a healing proficiency, in which case you can just do it. Oh, wait. Let me see. I do not have a healing proficiency. Okay, okay. so the, first you need to do the healing spell. Okay. Um, so would it be useless to use a Cure Moderate Wounds on him right now? I should have... Yeah, you would need a Serious... A, a cure Light Wounds or okay. a Cure Serious Wounds, which is a higher level spell. Okay, well then I will use a Cure Light Wounds. <clears throat> okay, that brings him... Uh, well, that doesn't actually give him any HP in this case. It just slows the bleeding, okay. and then you need an Intelligence check to bind his wounds. Okay. So that's a d10 plus my intelligence? Yes. Uh, d20 plus your intelligence, but you passed it even with a d10. Look how smart you oh. are. Yay! All right. Bruno's bleeding has stopped. Um, and if you give him a day or so, he'll recover and wake up. But he is unconscious and useless for the remainder of today's episode. Sorry, Bruno. <laughs> that RNG, it's all right. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's... What do you guys do now? Are there villagers about, like, looking Not that on? you can see. They're hiding? Yeah. You guys still go... haven't entered the village yet. You're just on the shore. I go angrily tromping toward the village. Okay, you come around the corner, and you see some elderly men and a bunch of women in town, or uh, in the village square. They're kind of tucked behind these buildings, looking around, and as you step out, they give shouts and cries. Some people start throwing sticks and rocks, but not hard enough to do any damage. Uh, Whoever and... throws sticks Get and the rocks woman and children! Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I look at her and shake my head, but whoever... Uh actively attacks me mm -hmm. I go and like try to subdue them and tie them up just like hold them or how, how would you like to subdue these people I have like this rope so... show them like they did to our people kill uh... the man grab the woman and the kids that's how we do it we don't leave no fighters out there I do not kill children no I said Weirdo. kill the man grab the children and the woman I'm not listening to her. I just take prisoner whoever whoever actively attacks me. I start like tying them in a like a slave line. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a struggle, a series of you know opposed strength checks. Cause no one's going willingly. These people That's start fine. kicking and screaming and fighting against you. I um, just like calmly take them on with the patience of like I know this is gonna be annoying, but you will eventually be subdued. Okay. Well, uh, so you start. What did the rest of the party do? Party. Rest of the party. Um, I offer to help, you know, I got more rope if you run out instead of doing these people, but I'm gonna let you do the heavy lifting. Jen, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna grab people if I can. So I'm tiny, just... I don't think I can grab people. You, you just start walking around with rope, like, trying to tie people up. And yeah, they just well, I'm up. helping out Maribel, I guess. Like, All right. I'll tie people, she holds them. We they... have a new thing going with the, the compass, we're the compass club. They begin to scatter. Seeing that you guys are just, you know, trying to tie them up, they just run and they just start running for the I, for the I actually the horizon. want to try killing men. Sure, there are, you know, there's a few men around. Yeah, I'm. Killing How are you them. going to kill them? Hmm. I will put a torch in the middle of a room where there's many men, and I will uh, use the spell. Well, everyone's fire. outside, and there's no fire. torches lit. Oh. Well, I light a torch, I find a gathering of men, I put the torch in the middle of them, they probably don't know what's coming up, and then I cast Fire Burst on the torch. Can you explain a little bit more detail? Because right now it sounds like 
there's a bunch of men just standing, and then you walk up and you set the torch next to them, and they just stand there, and then you walk away, and they just stand there, and then you cast a spell. <laughs> so, can you can you describe it a little bit more detail? You know, there's imagine chaos. People are running all over the place. They're screaming. People have come and murdered people in here. They're not just like standing about in groups, chilling. Uh, well, I mean. I'm pretty sure that people will get back into like a hut or something. Like if they feel like we're approaching them, wouldn't they back against the corner or something? There are two dozen buildings here. Some people have started to flee just down the beach in other directions. Some people have headed out into the desert. Uh, you look around, you notice there are some people going into these buildings. Okay. If I see people in the building. I guess I would try to find one with many men in there and herd them like cattle inside it by menacing them. All right. with like so you that. go and start looking in one of these buildings and one of the people in one of these buildings throws a rock at you. It misses. Uh, another person I... throws a chair at you. It misses. Wait, when do I get to throw my freaking thing inside the house? You th toss your torch in. Yeah, I toss my torch in. Okay, it uh, doesn't miss because I just toss a torch, not on them, okay. just on the ground. And then I cast Fire Burst and Give lock the door. Give me a d10. I will give you a d10, Neil. Yeah, plus your spell speed. Uh, spell speed, damn it. So many pages. Uh, one. D10 Ooh. plus one. Okay, so you go to cast Fire Burst, and as you're starting to cast the spell, you see the torch fly back out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> I grab the torch, and I light up the building. Ah, you set the building on fire. Meanwhile, Maribel has tied t is going around trying to tie people up. People are resisting. Maribel, you've grabbed hold of a woman's arm. Give me a strength check. And she threw something at me? She threw something at you. That jerk. Uh, D20 plus my strength. She's very unpleasant lady. Yes, and she will pay for her sins. She will atone to Brimstone the Fire Incarnate. With that terrible roll. Mm, doesn't look like she will. She slips out of your grasp and runs away. Alright, let's quickly, let's do it together. Let's grab some ladies and Brimstone is into those and let's just leave. We don't, we can't be there when the group comes back. There's no messing around here. Please, Maribel, please help me gather a lady so that we can save your village and do the right thing. I do not discern between ladies and men. I just go for the next person who throws something at me. Okay. People are scattering pretty heavily now. There's just a few youths left tossing That's things at you. That's the only person I tried to grab. No, no, it was just the first person, but, you know, not people like aren't sticking like around. Tackled somebody. Well, do I do another strength check? Yeah, give me another strength check. Who is it this time? This is a younger person. Uh, a youth, we call them. There you go. You grab hold of this youth and hold them fast. She struggles against you, calls you all manner of names. Cow-faced, uh, horse bitch is one of them. Oh. I, I cock an eyebrow at her and say, you are stupid, as I tie her up. <laughs> She continues to struggle against your ties, tries to bite at you as you get her, as you wrap ropes around her. Um, you notice Albert is burning a building next to you with people inside of it. I, um, I kind of like chuckle at that and then keep doing what I'm doing. Albert, you turn around to find this woman being tied up here, uh, this youth being tied up. All right. Uh, what? I... I'd like to help Maribel tie up people that insult her to accelerate the process okay. of onboarding people. Yeah, it's much easier if you're down there holding them and Maribel's tying them. Um, a group of three folks come running up to Maribel from behind saying, Unhand her, you horrible monster! And... Give me um, an initiative roll, guys, as these three people come up. Uh... Jen, or not Jen, Jess, what are you? You're just watching? Yeah. What What should I add to my initiative for just, like, subdue? Three. I mean, now that now that more of them are coming, I'm going to be fighting, but, you know, as, as they were subduing the women, I was just kind of waiting at the ready. Sure. Albert, did you... 
Uh, I will. I mean, are they? Are we next to the firehouse thing? Yeah, you're within ten feet of it. Um, are oh, but we're close as well, right? We're not like safe distance, and they're next to it. It's what I'm trying to get at. The you are within ten feet of the house that's on fire. These three that are coming at you are further away from the house that's oh, on okay, fire. Oh, never mind. Um, uh, then I guess I'll just, uh, take a bow shot at one of them. Roll me an initiative roll. Wow. Alright, they all go first. Uh, no, actually, Maribel goes first. You continue to subdue the person you're working with. I thought I already subdued that. Yeah, person. okay, so I'm, what, what are you doing with your subdue? I'm... I am turning from that person and charging another person to tackle and subdue them. All right, give me a... Give me a roll to hit, uh, just a d20 plus two. Oh my gosh. You go to charge this person, and like a bull with the head down, they just kind of step out of the way, and you run a little bit past before you realize that they have gone out of the way. The three people come up to uh, Dark Albert and pile on him. They, just, they literally leap on you, Dark Albert. Um, two of them grab you. Give me two strength checks, Albert. You need to beat a 28 with your first check, which does not go well. Your second check would have passed, but you throw off the, the second attacker, but the first one drags you to the ground. Um, Algrund. So I'm not attacking, I guess. Nope, you are subdued. Aww. Algrund, what do you do? Um, who needs healing the most? Is um, Bruno unconscious? Bruno is unconscious, but there's nothing that can be done for him for now. He's oh, okay. just incapacitated. How's Maribel doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Okay, and then, um, Albert, had you been attacked? He's on the ground, I'm pinned good. by yeah, so a couple of people. Oh, you know what? So I'll attack. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not going to heal. I'll attack the, the guy that's pinning um, Albert to the ground. Make them prisoners. We need to get out of here quickly. Subdue them, not me. <laughs> a swing and a miss. Ah. Uh, All right. It's... Next Sorry, round. Sorry, Albert. Next round, initiative rolls for you guys. This is not going well for the party here. No, it's not. We're really just not on top of it today. Aww. Nope. They all go first. Uh, they pick up stones in their hands and they try to beat Albert to death with the rocks. Oh my god. Wow. Um, that is two hits on Albert. Oh my god. Um, Albert... Get out of here. <laughs> Albert, you take four damage as okay. they bash you in the head. That's Actually, fine. you know, you're pinned to the ground. Never mind, that's a third hit. Um, you take yeah. a total of five damage as they beat you with rocks over and oh. over again. The hell? Um, Maribel, you're next. Maribel and Albert at the same time. Maribel, you Oops. hit one of them. That's I don't know what you're one. hitting them with, Oops. but you Did hit I... them. Okay, yeah. I was hitting them with a tackle and subdue. Again. All right, you knock one of the people off of Maribel, uh, off of Dark Albert. And I, they like, use aside. my superior weight to just, like, tie them up. Okay. You sit on them, begin tying okay. their limbs together. The other two... Um, what is the D20 plus four for, Albert? You said I could attack? Yes. I, I don't know. I did a strange check, then I did a roll, because I didn't know what you wanted. Well, what what do you want? Well, I mean, so you... I guess I want to get up, so I, I'll All right, do so it. So the strength, strength check to throw off your... Yeah. Give me a second strength check, because there's two people on you. Oh. oh. I pushed them away so hard. Yes. You throw them off of you, and you get Aha! to your feet. Algrund. Your you turn. Fools. Um, which <clears throat> which guy is still closest to 
Albert? Uh, there's two people or... who are equidistant to Albert. Okay. Um, what are their health at? You don't know. They're uninjured. Oh, oh they're both okay. Um, I'll attack the one that's closest to me then. Okay. Hit. <laughs> All right, you cut into him deeply. Oh, um, okay. Nice. And like, but, they uh... pull off and start to limp away. You can get tax of opportunity on them if you so desire, or you can let them I flee. Do I'm... Desire. All right, give me two rolls to hit as they try and get the hell out of there. Yeah, get them. If you can do non-lethal blows, it would be great. Hit. Hit. Give me d8. You kill one, or you know, drop him to zero HP, and you badly wound the other, but he still manages to limp away. Um, I think at this point, everyone else has limped or you know fled to a, a reasonable distance from you guys. And by the time you're finished tying up this one person. Uh, you look around, and there's no one left in the village nearby. You have two captives. I did two by myself. They got yeah, none. you have the two captives. That is it. But what about the ones that we, like, killed off? Are they really dead? Can we patch them up and keep them? Yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of people that you can whose wounds you could bind, and they bring them back. Oh, then I bind their wounds. Okay. <laughs> so I'm getting extra people. And I bind Extra their value. Wounds. You bind some wounds of some wounded townsfolk, yeah, villagers, and when the count is done, you have four, uh, no, you have five villagers. Two of them are conscious, yelling and screaming and calling you all manner of horrible names, and the other three are unconscious and only didn't die because of Albert's healing of them. Bruno lies on the ground. His guts have been placed back inside his belly, which is <sighs> slightly healed over. And then bandaged up, but he's still in some pretty bad shape there. Ugh. I am deeply bothered by the sight of Bruno in such bad shape. Yes. Um... And I, uh, I roughly hustle the captives to the ship, and if they keep calling me names, I put sand in their mouth until they stop. Ah! And then uh, I come back and gingerly and tenderly carry Bruno back to the ship. Okay. Aww. Yeah. The party reboards the ship and heads back to Voluton. And I think. That's a lot of value. <laughs> yeah. Um, do we want to call it here for the night? Do we have okay. time to take some snacks to Brimstone the Fire Incarnate first? Um, maybe. I don't know. We might run out of time. We can try if you guys are eager to, or we can save it for the start of next week. What do you think? I guess we I'm can down save. for either. Whatever you think's best, Neil. I think we should save it for the start of next week. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's that. That's today's episode of Miss Clicks. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you very much. We do this every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific on this channel. So please do take the time to click the follow button or follow on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with Miss Clicks. We also have shows uh, every weekday in the evening specific time so be sure to tune in for your share of horror games indie games heroes of the storm board games and of course dungeons and dragons role play uh before we sign off trump what are you doing this next week and where can people find you oh man got a good tournament that i'm going to be playing in tomorrow it's called the cursed trials it's going to um it's going to be a hearthstone interesting new format and good amount of prize money and serious competition there so wish me luck watch if you're into that hearthstone stuff nice sweet how about you neil I will be doing a lot more world building and campaign planning which I've been doing a ton of on my channel twitch.tv slash koibu um, we did today. We did misclicks preparations. Tomorrow we'll probably do some hardcore heroes preparations. Um, so if you're interested in being a better GM or a better DM and kind of seeing what it's like behind the scenes, swing on by because that's what we've been doing a bunch lately. 
You play with both plans, I see. GMs and DMs, Neil. Mm. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. <laughs> what about you, Jen? What are you up to? Uh, not much. Just working on Rainbow Six. It's fun. I'm pretty happy about it. Pretty excited about my new role in the team. And that's it, really. I'm moving into a new apartment soon. Excited about that. Yay. Yay. That's it. Jess, did you see what you're up to? Um, I am not up to anything in particular out of the ordinary this week. Just uh, streaming over on twitch.tv slash Jess and creating YouTube videos, youtube.com slash Jess Brohard. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. What about you, Anna? I am leaving super early tomorrow morning to go to Dice, where I will be. Fun. Yeah, I'll be hosting a Quake tournament, Ooh. which I have never done before. But it won't be streamed, so you can't tune into that. But you can tune into the Dice Awards on Thursday night, where I will be presenting an award during the Dice Awards, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but don't forget that Eye on the Storm on Misclicks is on at that exact same time, uh, where I would normally be, but it's going to be Gillyweed and a guest host. Which I can't remember who it is, but it will be on Twitter. It was, I won't say it because I'm, I'll, I'll, it's between two people and I can't remember which one it was. So you'll find out. Follow on Twitter. Um, and then on Friday, I will be on Twitch Weekly. And on the weekend, I'm going on vacation. Where are you going? I am going to Sun River in Oregon to go skiing on Mount Bachelor. Ooh. My heartland. Sounds amazing. The motherland. <laughs> Yes, it's gonna be awesome. Of course, Jen thinks Mount Bachelor sounds amazing. <laughs> of course, it does. Do you, do you eat oysters there? <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you next week. And until then, have a great day. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.